In this part, I will solve two problems appeared in GATE 2014 paper. In the first problem, we need to determine the output F in the digital logic circuit shown in the figure. This is the given circuit with X, Y and Z as the inputs and F is the output and we have to find out the minimized expression of F. So let's do it quickly. We have three gates in this circuit, XOR, XNOR and these are the three gates and first we will find out output of XOR gate. X and Y are the two inputs so output is simply X, XOR, Y. Now I will find out output of XNOR gate. The first input the first input is the output of XOR gate. So the first input is X, XOR, Y and the second input is Z. So the output is X, XOR, Y, XNOR, Z. Now we will find out final output that is F and F is the output of AND gate. The two inputs are X, XOR, Y and X, XOR, Y, XNOR, Z. These are the two inputs. So the output F is equal to x xor y and and x xor y xnor z so this is the final output but it is not minimized so i will minimize it and uh, let's say let's say x xor y is equal to a this is equal to a and z is equal to b and when we have a xnor b the expansion is a and B or A complement and B complement. This is the expansion of XNOR operation. I will use this and we will have X XOR Y and A and B. We have A and B. So we have X XOR Y and Z or A complement and B complement. So we have X XOR Y complement and Z complement. This is what we have by using the expansion of XNOR operation. Now I will open this bracket by using the distributive law and we will have X XOR Y and X XOR Y and Z or X XOR Y and and X XOR Y its complement and Z complement. This is what we have after applying the distributive law and we already know we already know A and A is equal to A A and A complement is equal to 0 and here we have X XOR Y and X XOR Y so I can write X XOR Y only one time and Z in this second term we have X XOR Y and X XOR Y is complement so it is like A and A complement so we have 0 here 0 and Z complement is also 0 so we have 0 and finally finally I can write the function F equal to X and Y complement or X complement and Y and Z I have just used the expansion of XOR operation and now I will use the distributive law to open these brackets and we will have X Y complement Z or X complement Y Z. Now I will try to match the correct option and uh, you can see option A is the correct option. We have X complement Y Z, X complement Y Z, X Y complement Z, X Y complement Z. So option A is the correct option and this is how you have to solve this problem. Now we will move to the second problem and the second problem is also taken from GATE 2014 paper. In this problem we have to find out output Y output Y if C is equal to 0. A, B and C are the three inputs in which C is equal to 0, C is equal to 0 and now we have to calculate the output Y. Output of NOR gate is equal to a or B its complement or we can write A complement and B complement. Now we will find out output of this OR gate. The first input is A complement and B complement and the second input is C and C is 0. So the output is simply A complement and B complement or 0 or it is simply A complement and B complement. Now I will find out output of the AND gate. It is A and B 
output of this OR gate is A complement and B complement or A and B this is what we have and uh, this is equal to this is equal to A X nor B finally we have the NAND gate this is the two input NAND gate in which the first input is equal to 1 because C is 0 and we have one inverter here so the output of the inverter is 1 and the second input is A X nor B so the output Y is simply A X nor B and 1 a x nor b and 1 and its whole complement a x nor b and 1 is nothing but a x nor b right and the complement and we already know for even number of inputs xor is complement xor is complement of x nor and here we have complement of x nor so i can write a x or b and the expansion of a x or b is a and B complement or A complement and B so this is the answer and if you see the four options you will find option A is the correct option